It's a rivalry that is just 20 years old, but for those involved, it feels like a whole lot longer. Collingwood and Port Adelaide have always had a relationship of sorts, for both were known as the Magpies in their respective state competitions. Collingwood has certainly been the beneficiary of the South Australian Magpies, who have produced the likes of Alan Didak, Mark Choco Williams, Levi Greenwood and Tim Broomhead over the years. The most famous of Collingwood's Port Adelaide imports is none other than Nathan Buckley, who won the McGarry medal in his final year in South Australia in 1992. But it's in their AFL incarnation that the rivalry has really heated up. The Magpies belted the newly formed Port Adelaide Power in their opening game, back in the first round of 1997. Collingwood kicked seven straight goals in the opening quarter and were never headed. It took the Pies another four years to record their next victory against the Power, but Josh Fraser's match-winning intercept and goal late in the night made it all worth it. Montgomery oh, and has made two mistakes in a row. Montgomery Fraser at centre-half forward for Collingwood and he has goal. The Magpies would stun the power again 12 months later when they caused a boil over at Football Park in the qualifying final. With skipper Nathan Buckley hamstrung, Paul Lecuria collected a whopping 40 disposals against Port superstar Josh Franku. The defining moment of the night though belonged to Ben Johnson, who saved a certain goal when he dragged Peter Burgoyne off his feet in the goal square late in the night. A year later, it was Collingwood who tasted September success, trouncing the power in a 44-point demolition in the preliminary final. The Pies have had the better of Port in the years that have followed, winning seven of their 12 encounters since 2007. Recent history has not been so kind, however, for Port has claimed victory in four of their past five meetings, including, famously, the 2013 elimination final. Can Collingwood reverse the trend? We'll find out at the MCG on Saturday afternoon.